If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. I have to say that I'm not surprised that um, that I have a classmate who's running for president and that it's Barack Obama because even as kids, I think it was pretty clear that he was a very special person. moved here in 1959, 1960. It was because they understood that this was going to be the new frontier. This was part of the American dream, this opportunity to move west and get a fresh start and create a better life for your children and your grandchildren. I think you learn much more about somebody uh, by knowing how, what their early years were like, what, what atmosphere were they raised in, uh, what kind of, of values were instilled in them for, at birth and when they're little kids. Uh, I, I don't think you, the apple falls too far from the tree when it comes to character, when it comes to personality. If you can look at the early years of, of someone, you can get a very, very good idea of, of the foundation that they'll have in terms of, of the person they present to the rest of the world. And he grew up in Hawaii. In 1963, we had another president visit us, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And I was a much younger man then, barely nine years old. But I never forget what he said before he left these islands. He said, Hawaii is what the rest of the world should be striving to become. Barack Obama was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii. Because he spent 15 of his most formative years in Hawaii, it is easy to see how Hawaii is still so much a part of him. In an article in U.S. News & World Report, Obama made note of his even temperament, which he claims he draws from Hawaii. Obama said people in Hawaii generally don't spend a lot of time, you know, yelling and screaming at each other. He said there is a cultural bias towards courtesy and trying to work through problems respectfully. Obama claims this Hawaiian temperament is reflected in his personality as well as in his political style. The overarching uh, ethic of Hawaii is diversity uh, which to celebrate. Uh, and for individuals to thrive in, in that atmosphere of, of community and a family. Uh, uh, that's what Hawaii is all about. And that's the foundation for Senator Obama. Uh, he was raised in an atmosphere of trust, of toleration, of welcoming, uh, all of which reflected the Hawaiian uh, spirit, the aloha spirit, uh, which is, is best characterized, as I've indicated, uh, here and elsewhere. Uh, right up until today, that diversity defines us rather than divides us. Hawaiian society was built with the concept of aloha. The aloha spirit is at its foundation. Aloha means love and kindness to all people, not just your own, but all people, everyone included. On the mainland, the continental United States, the quintessential new American emerged, a mixture of different white ethnic groups within the Caucasian race. Hawaii was different. The Caucasian immigrants living in Hawaii frequently married outside of their race. They married the native Hawaiians, the brown-skinned people from Polynesia, and they married Asians. Immigrants were welcomed and embraced by the local native Hawaiians. Hawaii is the only state where the majority of its residents are mixed race. Many people are part Caucasian, part Asian, and part native Hawaiian. Because mixed race is normal in Hawaii, Barack Obama was able to grow up without the stigma and resulting anger or resentment other mixed race children can experience growing up in other societies. You know, everyone here in Hawaii is a minority, and we all grew up together uh, with a 
greater degree of tolerance, I think, because in Hawaii, not everything's black and white. It's more brown and yellow and different colors of the rainbow. These kids from Hawaii, they're all different colors, all different sizes, all, all over the place kind of thing. They're used to that. When I came to Hawaii, it was quite an eye-opener for me to find myself in a situation where there were so many different races here. Everybody here celebrates everybody else's holidays and eats everybody else's food. And we like to think that, you know, it's great fun to be able to have Korean lunch and Italian dinner and Hawaiian for breakfast or whatever. For Barack to grow up here, go to school here, it allowed him the opportunity to grow and to observe this and to see how, you know, people from diverse backgrounds and different cultures and ethnicities could work together.